How's it going everyone and hope you're doing well. Welcome to this boot review of the Puma Phenomenal Pack um, of the new Puma boots that have just come out in January 2024. Um, the only update is the Puma Future Ultimates. So these are the seven Puma Future 7 Ultimates. Um, rich, really nice um, upgrade from the previous editions. Um, the only difference in my opinion is the tape here which is now in the middle rather than on the side. So it allows you to have a bit more of a um, stability in terms of when you put your foot into the boot. Um, and then for striking the ball, it just feels a bit more central, a bit more comfortable than the previous editions. Sole plate remains the same, can be worn on firm ground and also Astro pitches, 3G, 4G. So that has stayed the same. And also they've changed up a bit of the material for the toe, toe box area and also the area where you strike the football um, it gives a bit more space now because the, the tape is in the middle to shoot so it's very very comfortable and really nice touch to it again small details in terms of the material changes for the control of the ball um, really nice as well you can feel the texture and it does make a bit of a difference in terms of if especially if it's raining and when you're playing on rainy pitches um, you can feel the control and touch with these extra materials um yeah so all in all a very nice upgrade of the ultimates future ultimates um and if you're deciding whether to to get a future ultimate pair of boots um go for these instead of last year's editions that is my recommendation to you because i've used them for uh, a week now in terms of training and it's really really comfortable um highly recommend it and it's suitable for yeah wide feet as well so go true to size and they should fit you perfectly fine then we have the Puma Ultra Ultimates. Um, I don't know if they've um, made a bit of a change from the previous editions. As you can see here, look at the material. Um, it might just be this colorway, but maybe from now on they might uh, carry it on in terms of if you see the tape here. These are the soft ground boots and also the material. As you can see, there's like some kind of control material sewn on here and you can feel the texture, which probably just helps out with making that first touch um, from the football, which is really nice. The soft ground boots are really strong in terms of the stud patterns, so it stops you from slipping around, especially if you're playing on soft ground pitches, uh, muddy pitches, so it's really, really nice. Highly recommend it. Um, so that's the only update from the Ultra Ultimates. The control material here is added on to the speed boots. Um, these, these speed boots, in my opinion, offer a bit more protection than you know the likes of Mercurial and Crazy Fast. They're a bit more thicker in terms of the synthetic material, as you can see here in the toe box area and also the midfoot. So if you're looking for a speed boot, if you're a wing back or right back or left back or a winger and you're looking for something that offers a bit more protection, especially playing on winter pitches or cold pitches where there's a lot of people using soft grounds, this boot definitely offers much more of a protection when it comes to a speed boot but also is really lightweight as well so it's a really nice speed boot to recommend do use it for one or two weeks of training first before taking it to a match because it does take a bit more time to break into the boot but once broken in it's really really comfortable and i couldn't highly recommend it enough and it's a nice pink colorway so that's a good thing and the last thing is the puma kings the these are the late new, new editions of the puma kings from the classic boots um really really comfortable again but all three boots are comfortable um, but these as you can see are definitely for firm ground and you can also wear them on artificial grass so it's a really nice um boot to have so you can wear it on different surfaces um and you can also wear it on like wet, wet pitches as well um the, the sole, sole plates and the studs the conical studs or the plastic studs definitely help out with um traction and stability and stopping you from slipping around these ones um are a bit narrow in terms of the midfoot area because it's one piece material so make sure if you have wide feet to maybe go half size up or one size up in my uh, recommendation or you can what you could do is go to the puma store um, or other stores that sell them and actually try them on first go true to size first and see if they're comfortable in the toe box and the midfoot area if not then try go half size up so do try them on first if you've got wide feet or very wide feet um, before buying if you want to go for the puma kings um, narrow to normal feet type players or flat feet just go true to size um, and they will fit you perfectly uh, maybe narrow feet if you want something a bit more snug go half size down but all in all the puma king again is a very very nice crafted boot really good for touch very simple as well compared to the other two 
um, and it's a really reliable boot as well. Lasted for one season at least, and I'm sure we'll be able to last another two seasons in total before you change. So paying for the higher higher end models of the Ultimates will last you at least one to two seasons with these Puma Kings. But all in all, this is a very nice pack from Puma that they have made. Um, highly recommend all three, whichever one you decide to go for. If you're more of a playmaker, you prefer a bit more control and um, built for dictating games and, and um, creating creating magic, then I recommend Puma Futures is what it's for. Um, speed boot, if you want to have something lightweight um, but offers a bit more protection, goes for the Ultimates. And if you like more of a Puma old school look with a bit of the newer additions of the materials, then go for the Puma Kings. Um, yeah, make sure to leave a comment down below as well if you have one of the boots or all of them or one of the two, um, what you think about them and if you would recommend the pros and cons as that does help out people making a decision when they want to go and buy a human pair of boots. Um, but yeah, I'll see you next time for another unboxing, comparison and boot review video. All the very best and take care.